0.425 megahertz. Tsunami advisory is in effect for all coastal areas. Local impacts, a tsunami capable of producing strong currents that may be hazardous to swimmers, boats, and coastal structures is expected. Widespread inundation is not expected. Recommended actions, if you are located in this coastal area, move off the beach and out of harbors and marinas. Do not go to the coast to watch the tsunami. Be alert to instructions from your local emergency officials forecast tsunami start times, Port San Luis, California 7.40 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 15th, Santa Barbara, California 7.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 15th, Los Angeles, California 7.50 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 15th, tsunamis often arrive as a series of waves or surges which could be dangerous for many hours after the first wave arrival. The first tsunami wave or surge may not be the highest in the series. Preliminary earthquake information uh, occurred at 8.27 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 14, 2022. A large volcanic eruption occurred near the Tonga Islands. Tide information, Port San Luis, low tide of minus 05 feet at 3.19 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 15. High tide of 5.7 feet at 7.43 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 15. Santa Barbara, low tide of minus 07 feet at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 15. High tide of 5.7 feet at 7.26 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 15. Santa Monica, low tide of minus 06 feet at 2.40 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 15. High tide of 5.7 feet at 7.13 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 15th. Los Angeles Harbor, low tide of minus 06 feet at 2.35 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 15th. High tide of 5.7 feet at 7.07 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 15th. This product will be... Stay tuned to your local news source and NOAA Weather Radio for further information and updates. This is a marine weather statement for the following inner waters from Point Mugu to San Mateo Point. California including Santa Catalina and Santa Barbara Islands. A tsunami is expected to affect area harbors and marinas. Strong waves or surges of water above normal tidal activity is likely to damage docks and harbor areas. Hazardous floating and submerged debris should be expected. Strong and unusual currents and waves inside harbors, bays, and inlets may be especially destructive. Where time and conditions permit, mariners may consider moving vessels out to sea to a depth of at least 180 feet and be prepared to wait for an extended period of time. If at sea, avoid entering shallow water, harbors, marinas and bays. Tsunamis are a series of waves that may continue for many hours to days after the arrival of the first wave. The first wave is often not the largest wave. Each wave may last 5 to 45 minutes as the wave encroaches and recedes. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio for the latest information on this event. Here is the latest weather synopsis. It will be partly to mostly cloudy with a chance of light showers Saturday and Monday. Gusty Santa Ana winds will persist through this afternoon and then diminish. Temperatures will mostly be above normal despite all of the clouds. Fair weather is likely for next week after Monday. The forecast for the Los Angeles County Coast, including downtown Los Angeles, today, cloudy with a 20% chance of shower. 2 to 4 feet Sunday morning, then 1 to 3 feet during the afternoon. Marine weather statement for the following coastal locations, Kauai Northwest Waters, Kauai Windward Waters, Kauai Leeward Waters, Kauai Channel, Oahu Windward Waters. Oahu Leeward Waters, Kaivi Channel, Maui County Windward Waters, Maui County Leeward Waters, Maui Bay, Parilolo Channel, Alanui Aha Channel, Big Island Windward Waters, Big Island Leeward Waters, and Big Island Southeast Waters. A tsunami advisory remains in effect for the state of Hawaii. The areas affected include all Hawaiian waters. A volcanic eruption occurred at 6.27 p.m. on January 14, 2022 near 20.5s and 175.4 W near Tonga. Based on all available data a major tsunami is not expected to strike the state of Hawaii. However, sea level changes and strong currents may occur along coasts that could be a hazard to swimmers and boaters as well as to persons near the shore of beaches and in harbors and marinas. This is 
National Weather Service with a tsunami advisory update message from the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. A tsunami advisory continues for the state of Hawaii as of 2 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. A volcanic eruption occurred at 6.27 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time and was located near 20.5 north latitude and 175.4 west longitude in the vicinity of Tongan. A tsunami advisory remains in effect for the state of Hawaii as of 2 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WWG 75 on Mount Halakala, serving Maui County, and broadcasting from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Honolulu. The current time is 6.10 a.m. Hawaii Aleutian Standard Time. Warm and humid conditions with light and variable winds are expected through at least the first half of the upcoming week as a series of fronts pass north of the island.